<laughs> I'm so nervous, boy. <laughs> I didn't I didn't think I would freak out, but uh here here we are, I guess. <laughs> Hold on, let me drink a water. Holy shit.
low. <laughs> I, uh... Oh, God. Oh, God! <laughs> The alert scared me, oh god. Uh, uh. Are there so many people here? I'm gonna cry, please. Hello. <laughs> oh god, let's see, let's see. Whoa. <laughs> uh, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't expect to be this nervous, I'm sorry. I'm usually not like this. Um. <laughs> oh god. Uh, well, thank you for coming, at least. Um, how was everyone's day today? Please tell me. Thank you for the- <laughs> thank you for the maid raid, KK. <laughs> the- the maid raid. V2 would be hidden different. <laughs> Please, you are not the Jesus. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Let me, let me, uh, let me drink a tea. Hold on, wait. Again, I don't know. Thank you for coming. Uh, I've, I've never streamed before, so it's a bit... a little nerve-wracking, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, my name is Takamura Takako. Um, I'm an English VTuber, and I'm an otaku maid. Um, I... oh god, it's so distracting! <laughs> yeah, hello! Uh, I did have a presentation, like an introduction presentation. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Um, I had a, uh, I gotta focus. I had a presentation that I was gonna start off with. Um, so let's see, I'm not crying. <laughs> I said I was going to, I got close. I'm not crying. Please don't spread false rumors about me. <coughs> uh, let's see. So I know we're starting off uh, quick but why don't we why don't we start with the presentation i worked very hard on it um so if it's scuffed please be gentle <laughs> uh let's see what okay uh let's see it is not a microsoft paint powerpoint <laughs> please be gentle Oh, I need to move the chat. I haven't uh, practiced all this like with an active chat. So let me see. Oh, oh, uh. <sighs> that'll that'll have to do. I'll fix it a bit before next time. I promise. Oh, <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, I didn't say it because I was too nervous. Um, thank you so much for all the follows and everything. I really appreciate it. Um, especially because I haven't done anything yet. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm gonna move that up too because as much as I like seeing it, she's in the way. All right. She's in the way. First slide. Nervous made up. <laughs> Thank you, cute. Uh, let's see. All right, first slide. Uh, my name is Takamura Takako. Uh, you can just call me Takako. Uh, right now, I don't have any nicknames or anything, <laughs> so we'll see what happens, I guess. 
Um, for my occupation, I work part-time as a maid at a maid cafe. Um, I attend school too, so I, I get pretty busy. <laughs> um, but I still have plenty of time to do the things that I want to do, so it's alright. Um, as far as my age, you shouldn't be asking a girl what her age is right off the bat, but I'm old enough to have an adult beverage with you all every once in a while, so that's fine. Uh, as I am 155 centimeters tall, that's 5 foot 1. Um, as far as my weight, uh, my three sizes, I can't move this. Uh, I'm not used to streaming, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna move right along, I guess. About me, um, I don't know who wrote this, but they were extremely kind to me, and I appreciate that. Um, an extremely cute, very talented, crazy intelligent girl uh, who works <laughs> at a maid cafe part time. Um, she loves otaku culture and wanted to join a big community to discuss it with. Um, she became enamored with VTubers and wanted to try out VTubing on her own, and so I did. Uh, my my big thing through life is if I, I see something and I, I like it, I want to do it myself. Or like if I want to join a community or something and I can't find one that um, sticks with me perfectly, you know what I mean? I'll, um, I'll see what goes into it and I'll try to make it myself, and I guess that's what this is. <laughs> um, let's see... Next slide. We're flying, but that's alright. It helps, it helps with the nervousness. As far as my VTuber mama goes, uh, the lovely person who drew my model, her name is Takamura Takako. Um, she's an acclaimed and well-established illustrator. Um, she's also very rich and very cute, uh, very well-loved by everybody. Um, you can follow her on Twitter at, at Takako Takamura. Um, she drew this lovely art of me, which I really appreciated. Um, I thanked her a lot. Uh, and since we've gone through the mama, uh, as far as my VTuber papa goes, the person who rigged me so that I can move like this, uh, my VTuber papa is Takamura Takako. Um, she's an ex acclaimed, <laughs> well-established live 2D rigger. Um, she's very rich and she's very cute, and you can follow her Twitter at, at Takako Takamura. Um, she also did the uh, scene transitions, the little me flying across, um, and I thought that was super cute, so I'm glad it came out the way it did. <laughs> it's a, a complicated family. There's a lot of time travel involved. My tea is already cold. Today is, today is ruined. The whole stream is ruined. <laughs> Uh, next up is my likes and dislikes. Mama Mora, Daddy Go! <laughs> a family can be just a VTuber. Uh, <laughs> you're your own parents, kind of. <laughs> no, no, that's. <laughs> We're moving on. Yeah, I reproduce by budding, that's true. Uh, next up is my likes and dislikes. So, if you can't see this, it's because my uh, graphic design is my passion. Um, as far as things that I really like, I like jewelry and money, because of course I do. Um, I really like cute girls. That goes for both 2D and 3D. Um, I... Oh god, I'm sorry. <laughs> You'd think I'd be used to it by now. At least I can talk okay. Um, I really like fashion. I particularly like uh, Himakaji and Kogyaru fashion, um, but I'm not picky as long as it's cute and it looks clean and nice. I, uh, I'm a fan. Um, I like to cook. I cook a lot of uh, Japanese food at home, but I really want to learn to cook Korean food, too. I, I don't know the first thing about it, <laughs> so... Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. I'll, I'll be sure to let you know. Um, in, in turn with cooking, I really like sweets. Um, I particularly like macarons and strawberry shortcake. Uh, as far as drawing goes. I do a lot of art. Um, I do digital art, traditional drawing, watercolor painting. Um, I do collages. I'll do whatever. I'm sure you'll see a lot of that as we go on. Um, probably not today, but uh, going forward in general. Um, I really like horror. Uh, horror movies and anime, manga. Uh, I really like true crime and like online ARG stuff. Uh, I'm surprisingly bad with horror games, <laughs> but I might do them every once in a while. 
uh, uh mac <laughs> yeah i really like macaroni and strawberry shortcake those are my two favorite uh sweets thank you i'm glad everybody was paying attention <laughs> and i'm glad i can speak this clearly um yeah i don't know what it is about the horror games i think when i'm passively consuming something it's a lot easier to like not feel the fear but as soon as i'm in control of the, the player character, it feels a lot more like, uh, localized terror, <laughs> you know? Um, but we'll see. I might, uh, try to bring some around. Uh, I like to work out a lot. I like exercise. Uh, keeping yourself healthy is really important. Um, and it's a good way to spend time. Uh, I like picnics a lot, um, because I like cooking. Uh, the idea of getting together with friends and like going out on a nice day to like a nice looking place and spending time together quietly like that is always fun. Um, I like it a lot. I don't think picnics are appreciated enough. I'll put, I'll say it. I'll say it. When's the last time you went on a picnic? Ask yourself that. I want to know. Nobody did. No one here has gone on a picnic. I will absolutely go camping with you. <laughs> you went on a picnic this afternoon? <laughs> Why would you go outside three years ago? A VTuber picnic, absolutely. For sure, for sure. That'll be our first collab. A virtual picnic with virtual food. I've never gone camping, but you're a camp made me want to. <laughs> Have you seen that image on uh, the cursed website of this dude who tried to go camping because of Eurocamp and he accidentally set an entire like brushland ablaze? I have. Uh, I really like flowers. I like roses, peonies, lilies, hydrangeas, and hyacinths, uh, particularly. Um, I like chrysanthemums, too. I'm actually really, really bad at gardening. <laughs> I've tried a few times over the years. Um, oh, Yuru Camp is an anime on your knees. Uh, I haven't seen it, which is apparently, like, a, a crime punishable on a federal level. But we'll get there. We'll see. Uh, if you bother me enough, maybe I'll do it. <laughs> That's not true. Please don't. Oh god, I don't know why he said that. I don't know why I'm signing myself up for this. Have you ever asked for harassment? I have, and I did it in front of a live studio audience. Uh, I really like weird internet lore. Um, I've been very online for a long time, uh, so I guess one of my hobbies or interests is falling into like weird online rabbit holes. Um, it's not always creepy stuff, but stuff like uh, Time Cube or like Final Fantasy House, stuff like that. Um, ARGs. So if I find something neat, maybe I'll find some way to like incorporate it or go down through it with you guys. Wang VTuber! <laughs> um, and interior design. I guess to some degree that goes with art. I probably could have combined them, but I didn't. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll do skinwalker stories. I'll do creepy pasta ASMR. It suits my image. I won't change my background either, or my look. I'll, uh, I'll read the rake uh, without changing anything, and I'll leave my background music on too. Just you wait. Do a stream <laughs> discussing Time Cube. I don't- there's not enough time in the world to discuss Time Cube. It's just something that you have to go into. Ash vlogs. Oh, Ash vlogs. I, I fell out of. Um, God, I think I got into it. I forget how far in I got. Uh, it was definitely still coming out. Is it finished now? I don't know. Ash vlogs. There's enough time for you embrace the cube, Ted the Caver. I'm getting a lot of requests. That's so funny. <laughs> Please, no Reddit. <laughs> read, read Spencer Spectre, my favorite light novel, now available on Amazon.com. Uh, no, I'm sorry, I need to focus. Okay, <laughs> I, won't, I won't finish it. I won't get done if I don't uh, focus. Um, as far as interior design goes, I really like having like my spaces look neat, and the idea of having my space kind of tailored to me feels really nice. I think I feel like most relaxed or at home in a space that's kind of all mine or like I, I put together, you know what I mean? Um, as far as my dislikes go, um, <laughs> losing things. Uh, I can be pretty forgetful, so it's always like really frustrating when I'm counting on something. And then I realize I've forgotten all about it or I've got to like look around for stuff that's supposed to be there where I left it. Uh, the ADHD is very, very bad. <laughs> I found- I realized recently that I have a really bad habit of, um... If I'm, like, multitasking, right? 
uh, let's say I have a pen and I put it on a desk and then I pick up a paper, I'll like not pay attention and I'll put the paper down on top of the pen. And then I'll spend like five minutes looking for the pen because I can't just put them in plain sight. I don't know what my problem- I keep putting things on top of things and it makes life so 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 much harder. <laughs> um, uh, I really don't like when people are rude to wait staff. I guess that's a given because I'm a, a maid, but uh, I think that's like the one The one thing that I think is like Just the worst maybe Have you ever gone out to dinner with someone and they just Treated the waiter really badly for no reason. What can you do? You just like sink down in your seat and be like make the eye contact with them that says I'm really sorry. I don't know this person. I, I would never treat you like this. I would never do that to you. Here, I'll tip you extra. But you shouldn't have to! You shouldn't have to tip more than you were going to just because of someone else. You shouldn't. Ridiculous. Horrible. Uh, let me see what everyone said. Losing glasses that are on your face! <laughs> I love to be on the phone, on my phone, and ask myself, where is my phone? Uh, everything needs to be transparent. No object permanence, gang. What if it's a hot sundry? Uh, uh, someone said, "What if it's a hot sundry girl?" And I, I don't know. I waited too long to look, so I don't know what, what they were asking. And I really want to know. That sounds important. <laughs> um. Oh, let's see. I'm just a savage in the presence of others. It's powerful. Uh, I, I can't eat licorice. I've tried to like licorice. Oh, it's sundere to wait stuff? That's fine, because when you're sundere, if you do it the right way, it's like obvious, you know what I mean? Where it's like, oh, it's not like I enjoy this wonderful service. What if the wait staff is sundere to you? That's fine as long as it's like, I'm going in knowing it. If I went to like a sundere cafe and they treated me like shit, I'd be like, Thank you so much. This is exactly the experience that I wanted. But if they're just like mean to me with no warning, I can't really. <laughs> that's not a question. That's not being sundry. That's just rude. That's just bad customer service. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, I can't drink coffee. I've tried many times in my life. Did I say the licorice thing? I already can't remember. Uh, I've tried many times. I, I can't get used to it. Once every few years, I try to eat licorice, and I'm like, this time for sure. This time for sure, kondo koso, and uh, it's always bad. It's always a disappointment. We hate it. Uh, let's see. Yahalo. Uh, leaving things disorganized. Uh, I say I dislike it, but I do it all the time. And uh, I'm sorry, there's so much going on. Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. Um, I do that all the time anyway. Uh, but it definitely like spikes the anxiety or makes me feel frustrated even if I don't realize it. Um, I don't really like half-assing anything. Um, it sounds kind of weird to say, but I couldn't think of anything for dislikes. Um, I guess it's sort of like, even if I do well at something, uh, it's like, oh, if I, if I feel, if I walk away feeling like I didn't do my best, uh, I won't really be satisfied. You know what I mean? I think I do a lot of things that I do for me, so it's like, how I feel walking away from it is almost more important than like the results sometimes. I don't know, I guess it depends on the thing. Uh, and being unprepared is just the same as like leaving things disorganized, <laughs> where I just do it all the time anyway. <laughs> but it, it's not, it's no good. We hate, yeah, you have to full ass things, that's true. Uh, next. Oh, ne <laughs> next is uh, I start listing the anime that I like. So. Let's talk about it. Uh, the first one I put on is Baki Monogatari. Uh, I like the whole Monogatari series, um, but I, I think I like Baki the best. I'd have to rewatch um, second season, I think. Um, Hitagi is is my favorite. The the, the whole cast is really likable, though. Denpa Onna respect. <laughs> That's right. One person in the world remembers Denpa Onna. Ain't that nice. I only know one of these. Well, then you just have to watch more. That's what it means. If you don't know them, it's like, oh, well, here are some lovely recommendations. Uh, I Next to it, I put Kachinagatari. Yahara! I put Kachinagatari, uh, same same author as Bakemonogatari. Uh, I haven't read the light novel. I haven't read either of the light novels, and I feel like a heathen. Uh, but they're on the list. 
the list. Uh, Kachinagatari's Kino. It's a 10 out of 10. It's so good. So, so good. Uh, Zetsubo Sensei, no one ever talks about, and I don't understand why, because I feel like it used to be, like, kind of popular among people who, like, knew what Studio Shaft was, you know what I mean? That's the, that's the cut line for normies. It's like, people who like anime, if they know the, the studios, then you're like, oh, you're in. Like, you're in hell. Welcome. Uh, so, other Shaft shows that I really like. I like Dempa Onna. I really want to read the light novel. Um, I only watched this, like, last year. <laughs> and it was so funny because uh, a friend and I visited Akiba, and we were looking for the light novels just to have. And we couldn't find them! They're nowhere. They don't exist. Every once in a while, you'll find, like, an Aereo figure in, a, in, in the wild. Um, but they're, like, gone. Like, alien abduction. There's no trace. And then, if you talk to anyone online about Dempa Onna, because it's been so... I, man, it feels weird to say it's been so long, because it doesn't feel like it has. But if you talk to anyone about it, they'll either say, like, I never watched it, or I watched all of it and I can't remember any of it. Again! Like, alien interference, it's just been scrubbed. It's been scrubbed from the public mind, which is fucked. It's cursed. I don't know what the issue with this series is. Uh, moving on, other Shaft. I really like Madoka Magica. I've seen it, like, six times. <laughs> I've rewatched a lot of shows that I really like. Um, I think it's really fun to, like, watch shows with friends that haven't seen it, obviously. Um, but Madoka's one that I'll, like, always show to friends that haven't seen it, so I've, I've sat through it a lot, I've cried through it a lot, I'm a mess. Um, have I watched Rebellion yet? Yes, I have watched Rebellion, and I love Rebellion. The first time I watched it, I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. But the second time, I was like, oh, this is Kino, actually. This actually fucking rules. I just, I wasn't, my brain wasn't awake, you know what I mean? But now I understand. Uh, I really like... Uh, Ikuhara stuff, so I like Penguin Drum, I like Utena. Uh, they're both very, very good. It also took me like 10 years to finish both of them. <laughs> but we're here. I'm living in the future. Yeah, huddle. Uh, it took me three times to truly process her <laughs> Well, you have to have a very high cue to understand Madoka Magica Rebellion. Uh, I really like Kyoso Giga, which is criminally underrated. Nobody talks about it. I don't understand why. It's very, very good. It's, what, like 12 episodes, I think? Uh, art style's phenomenal, really flashy. Uh, the story's super fun, the characters are all likable. Haikyuu? Haikyuu soon. I told a friend that I would watch Haikyuu very soon. Um, so we'll see. I have a feeling I'm gonna like it, and then I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I really like Steins Gate. I'm a heathen. I haven't played the visual novel yet. Uh, you're gonna hear me say that a lot, and I'm gonna get a lot of flack because I'll talk about a visual novel and I'll be like, oh, it's really, like, I really like it. Um, I haven't finished it though. And you're all gonna scream. You're gonna all caps. Um, you're lucky I haven't made an angry emote yet. You've played the VN? I haven't. <laughs> no one read. That's like not true. I know so many people that have read Steins Gate and they. They're always mad. <laughs> Unlike what happened to Black Rock Shooter. What happened to Black Rock Shooter? Nothing happened to Black Rock Shooter. They made a, a PSP game and that's it. Uh, I really like Ping Pong. Uh, VN streams. We'll get to that. I'll talk about that. Don't you worry. Uh, I really like Ping Pong. It's one of those shows that I like wasn't going to watch because it looks the way it does. And then a friend dragged me in and I was like, oh, fu oh no, wait, this is really good actually. Uh, it's one of those shows that I feel like you wouldn't expect to, like, relate to. Uh, but no matter who you are, it seems to, like, hit real deep. At least one character, you know what I mean? Ping Pong is an experience I would recommend to most people. It's just very, very solid. Pingus Kong. <sighs> Unlike the other Ping Pong anime, there's, like, a... You know when you don't watch a show? And in your head, it takes up, like, it, it lives in some area. And each area is labeled, it's like a box. And each box is labeled, like, moe shit anime that came out in the past five years. And there's, like, a topic, like, guns or rock climbing 
or airsoft or something. That's in there. Uh, the, the, the other ping pong anime is in there with Upote and, uh, God, I can't even think. <laughs> uh, but you understand what I mean. Moe shit anime lives brain rent free. Yeah, that's how it works, right? Hard to believe it was nine years ago. What was nine years ago? Suritama? No way. No, no, no. Oh, penguin. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Oh, I dropped Upote after one episode. That's okay, I didn't watch it. And that's why it's in the box. Uh, oh, what's up, dog? I, I haven't seen that. I'm feeding, I'm feeding the chat. I thought I have more self-respect than this, Maller. Uh, let's see. We got round two, there's three of anime <laughs> because there's so many that I like a lot. Uh, I really like Karno Kyokai. Uh, it's a mess. I I tried to watch this show or show. Yeah, I tried to watch this series like three times, and the first two times I was like, I don't know. It's not for me. I think it's too smart for me. I don't get it. And then the third time I was like, Oh, oh! The first movie is just Nasu Chuni jacking off, and then the rest of it is the plot. I understand now. I get it now. And then I really liked Kaur no Kyokai. So what I'm saying is just turn your brain off for the first one and enjoy the visuals. And for everything else, you can treat it like a real show. Uh, I'm, I'm already... <laughs> I'm causing strife in the community that I just created. I don't know why I'm doing this. I can't come right out of the gate with these spiced opinions. Uh, Kino's Journey. Uh, I want to read the light novel really, really bad. Um, I put it on here because I watched the old anime and I really liked it. Um, I watched the new one and it didn't really stick with me. I didn't end up finishing it actually, I was pretty like disconnected from it I think. But I, I really like uh, the older Kino's journey. Uh, I really like Lane, they're like tonally cousins so it's hard not to <laughs> think of one and then think of the other. Uh, let's all love Lane. This is gonna cause a lot of drama in the Takako community, yeah you're right. Uh, sometimes turning your brain off really helps you appreciate Nasu. Your brain is so huge, you understand. You understand. Mushishi is on my list. Mushishi is on my list, too. Uh, I feel like <laughs> my taste is like that, uh, that meme of the person that someone drew in MS Paint, and it was like some guy in a gray hoodie looking really smug, and he's holding up, like, Aria the Animation and Mushishi and Kino's Journey, and he's like, how do you feel about my taste? I it's just brainlit stuff, big brain INTJ shit. And then I look at my taste and I'm like, oh, oh no, who? I didn't give anyone consent to draw a picture of me. <laughs> this isn't fair. <laughs> People are gonna think I hate fun. Uh, that's why Garen Lagan's on the list because I don't hate fun. Uh, Haruhi's next. I'm rewatching Haruhi. Okay, well, I, I watched season one of Haruhi back in. God, middle school, I guess? Uh, and obviously it was a blast. And then I never watched season two. I watched Bamboo Leaf Rhapsody. And I was like, this is fun. I fell like a few weeks behind. I heard about Endless Eight. I read it on Sankaku Ka Oh my God, that, I'm really dating myself. I, I read about Endless Eight on Sankaku Complex. And I was like, wow, this sucks. Uh, and then I didn't watch it for a decade. <laughs> But uh, a friend of mine had never seen Haruhi, uh, so we were going through it now, and we we are finishing. We're watching it in broadcast because I'm a heathen. Um, please don't come for me. Please don't unfollow. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, we are almost finished with the uh, making a movie arc, so we're 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 getting there. We somehow soldiered through Endless Eight. Very proud. Very proud of me. I, I liked it. I'll tell you what, I liked it. That's my controversial opinion. I'm glad they did Endless 8 the way they did, even if at the time it felt sort of weird. Um, explain my reasoning. My reasoning is that Haruhi got to wear a lot of outfits that made her look really hot and really cute, and that's my reasoning. Um, <laughs> let's see what we got in the chat. <laughs> how many how many people have I hurt <laughs> with my 
careless words. Endless eight defense squad. What's a Sankoku complex? Uh, you're privileged to not know. I'm proud of you. Uh, you, you made it out alive. Uh, I'm still Mikru gang. That's fine. Uh, every, every Haruhi character is respectable. I am O. Kyonkun Denwa. Kyonkun Denwa! Uh, let's see. Next is Higurashi. I haven't read the Higurashi visual novel. I am a poser. I'm a fake fan. I'm a coward. I at least started Umineko. I got like three games in, you know, right where you're supposed to like buckle up and be in. And I was like, I'm gonna put this down for a second. And then I never finished it. I don't know what my problem is. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, Higurashi is a, a series that I've liked since, like, also middle school, I guess. It's very, very close to my heart. Uh, I really like Paranoia Agent. I like everything Satoshi Kon's done that I've seen. I've never seen Tokyo Godfathers, so I'm also fake on that front. But uh, pretty much everything he touches is wonderful. I know everybody says it, but that's because it's true. Uh, I'm, I'm zooming now, sorry. I... Have we already been on for 40 minutes? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't have time for this. Um, when they cry, have trauma. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> oh god. I really like Shiki. Shiki is just like Karno Kyokai that I tried to watch it three times. And I was like, man, it's so slow. I don't understand. And then the third time I was like, oh no, wait, this rules actually. I changed my mind. This is very good. 100 do i have 101 viewers that's so scary I'm, I'm gonna so the the chat on my streamlabs is not refreshing and it says that i have 88 viewers so i actually have no idea how many people are in here and that's making me a little bit nervous megumi is is not my favorite actually surprisingly against all odds my favorite character is the scruffy doctor who is it <laughs> everybody's favorite i guess He's a good boy. We love him. Help me clean this up. Uh, Gurren Lagann is a classic. I don't have to say anything about it. It's it's quite an experience. Uh, Fully Cooly was my first non-Naruto anime, so I'd like to thank Adult Swim and also Gainax, since we're going through that that list. Uh, I've also seen Fully Cooly like 10 times, although that's much easier because it's so short. Uh, it's solid. It's a fave. I know it's like popular, but a lot of people don't talk about it anymore, and I think that's a shame. I did not watch the sequels. I have no intention of watching the sequels. I, I don't... I, I, <laughs> I have my reasoning. Uh, and Ava's a given. Evangelion used to be my favorite. Uh, I still really like it. Um, I watched End of Ava again not that long ago, and I was like shocked by how much I didn't relate to it on a visceral level anymore and to some degree like i think that's probably a good thing right if you watch ava and you're not like wow he's literally me um it probably means you're on like the road to improved mental health <laughs> um, so uh that's a good thing but ava's still very good what do we got next last one last one last one uh, Erica Seven, I just finished watching this year. I'm very far behind. This year, uh, okay, starting last year, I decided, man, there's so much shit on my backlog. I should really try watching all the things that I started watching, enjoyed, and then never touched again. I hope you're seeing a theme. It's called having ADHD. Um, so yeah, I, I finally powered through Erica Seven. It was a blast. I loved it. Uh, I would recommend it to anyone. Don't let the length trick you. It's very, very fun. Very sweet. Very heartfelt. Speaking of sweet and heartfelt, Toradora is solid. Man, it's so so <laughs> I love Toradora a lot. Uh, Zero Natsukaima, very good. No one talks about it, but this time that's fine. No one really has to. Uh, Louise is just my type, so here we are. Uh, Kaiji, oh my god. I watched Kaiji for the first time last year, and I've never felt so alive. All someone did was like throw a dice on the ground, a die, a die, they threw a die on the ground, and I felt like I was moving at like a hundred fucking miles per hour, zooming. I was staying still. I wasn't drunk. Kaiji's unbelievable. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Uh, Code Geass I also watched for the first time last year. Man, what a ride. Oh my god. <laughs> Code Geass is a fucking mess, and I love it. I love every second of it. It's a mess. 
Uh, Suzaku is my favorite because my taste is questionable, but that's all right. I I, I still I appreciate everybody. <laughs> Actually, Suzaku is probably tied with uh, Yuffie and CC, but they're all very good. Uh, I haven't checked the chat in a bit. My heart rate went up seeing Code Geass. I also take one look at Lelouch and my cortisol spikes. Uh, put Suzaku in a green blue first. <laughs> Why? No. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Uh, let's see, let's see. Cornelia, best girl. That's, that's rare. That's a rare opinion, but I respect it. Uh, Alien 9 is only four episodes. It's not like... It's sort of a cliffhanger. I guess it was kind of made as like an advertisement for the manga almost. But man, it feels so cool. If you like Dempa shit, you have to watch Alien 9. It's only four episodes. Uh, it's a, a, I'm gonna pull that mid 2000s, very obvious tricking joke where I say it's a very gentle, uh, Yuruke, soft anime about girls becoming friends joining a club and getting along and that's all you need to know about alien 9 right now go in blind trust me it's fun uh i really like origairu man i'm a mess over this show i didn't expect it to be as good as it was i watched season one and i was like oh it's fun i was also watching like 12 airing anime that season so it, it kind of blended in unfortunately and then season two hit and the art style exploded everything exploded the character development exploded and i i was buckled in it was too late now once you start saying yeah hello it's over it's all over uh, hyoka i also watched last year um I, I i loved it i don't know i don't know what to say about hyoka besides that it's like a 10 out of 10 solid i feel like everyone should give it a shot i'd let yukino and hit me with a car same same uh origairu is a very important show uh, ben 10 meet Alien 9. <laughs> uh, I like Bakano a lot. Uh, it's been forever since I've seen it, but I really want to rewatch it. I like it a lot. I really like Durarara too. That always kind of like, they always go hand in hand in my head, I think. Um, people don't really talk about these anymore either, do they? That sucks. They're both really good. I did watch the dub for Bakano. I usually watch subbed, but I watched Bakano dubbed and I didn't regret it at all. Where's Bento? Bento deserves to be on here. I'm going to replace... Oh, let's see. I'm going to replace Katanagatari with Bento. Thank you for your suggestion. I appreciate it. I'm always open to constructive criticism. Uh... And lastly, we have Kekai Sensen, Blood Blockade Blattlefront. Uh, I wasn't going to watch this, and then a friend recommended me, and uh, oh man, it's it's fun. I don't even. It's it's hard to like know what to say to recommend Kekai Sensen because it's one of those shows that it's like you don't have to think that hard about it. You just have to go in, just go in blindly. It's so fun. It. I don't know. It's a lot. Give it a shot if you get a chance. Just give Bento a fourth page. Okay, hold on. Wait. Stand by. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, perfect. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for your patience, I really appreciate it. This is extremely important, so I, I hope you understand. Uh... Oh, there it is. All right, sick. Uh, so for my, my fourth anime, hiding that. Uh, it's Bento. It's just Bento. Bento's Bento's. Uh, unironically, the show's extremely fun, and if you get a chance to watch Bento, you should. Um, it's exactly what it looks like on the tin. It's 
high schoolers getting into extremely well choreographed fist fights over half price grocery store bento. Oh, go back to the thighs. All right, I will. Uh, by the way, the soundtrack is by Taku Iwasaki, who did Garen Lagan and uh, Kachina Gatari. So, it, 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 everything about Bento like wasn't supposed to work, and then it did anyway. And I think that's cursed. It's fucked up. Uh, but we'll hide Shagathai's for now. The next ones are quick. I only have one for manga. Oh, she slid! <gasps> Did everything go down? Oh my god, because I moved Bento down! No! Okay, hold on. Wait. We're... we're... I have to... I have to unlock everything. I only practiced for the stuff that I had to do. I didn't, like, practice for making sure everything else was alright. You know, like, what if something happens? You can practice every day in training mode. Uh, you can beat computers all day, but as soon as you play against a real opponent, you can't afford to choke. So we're moving on. <laughs> Screaming in the chat. <laughs> uh, you're right, it was worth it. I don't have any regrets. I live my life having no regrets. My favorite manga, I really like Onani Master Kurosawa. It might be my favorite. I'm not sure. I'd have to reread some other ones. Uh, I really like Chikan Otoko too, by the same guy. Um, Onani Master Kurosawa was a mess and a meme but it has a special place in my heart. Uh, I really like Bokurano. Uh, I should read Narutaru. I watched Narutaru also in middle school, and it did really bad things to my heart and my brain. Um, but Bokurano slaps. It's very good. Uh, my taste in manga is just things that give me anxiety and make me feel bad. Um, but I think that's okay. I've already, like accepted that part of myself. You finished reading Onani Master? That's rare. I'm so happy. Oh my god. You should tell me what you thought of it. Uh, I really like Akunohana. I like everything I've read by that author. And I feel- uh, is it Shuzo Oshimi? I feel bad that I can't remember his name. Um, I've read Akunohana. I've read Boku wa Mari no Naka. And I'm reading, um, what's the one he's doing right now? A Trail of Blood? With the Yandere Mom? That one slaps. It's so good. Uh, yeah, it, it's always Yahana! It's always better than you think it would be. Um, I really like Oyasumi Pun Pun. I'm also a big sucker for everything Inio Asano puts out. Um, I really like Solanin and A Girl by the Sea, too. I should finish reading Dead Dead Demons, but I... Uh, man, I only have so much time, you know what I mean? But Pun Pun's a top tier. I got halfway through, had an existential crisis, put it down for a month, and then finished it. And it was great. I loved it. Uh, I really like Alien 9. I can't recommend, like, the sequels or anything, but the whole thing feels super weird. Uh, it feels like a dream. Ever. So, normal complaints like, oh, I don't understand what's happening, or the plot's jumping around, or there's, like, no reason characters should be acting like this. That's, like, the bit in Alien 9. It's, like, the point. So, it's hard to explain, but it's, like, neat. It's very cool. Um... I really like everything I've read by Junji Ito, Uzumaki Solid, uh, Gyo's Solid, Dur Dur Dur, etc. Uh, I don't know how I got through Gantz, but I did, and I feel bad every time I think about it. I feel like Gantz was a manga I should not have read, but I, I did it anyway, and now I'm a, a, I'm a functioning member of society, I'm a responsible adult, and everything's fine. I've never had any regrets in my life. Uh, I finished Chainsaw Man a few months ago. No, that's not true. I know time isn't real, but like, I have such a hard time remembering. <laughs> Whenever it blew up on Twitter, I read Chainsaw Man, and it's like, what, a hundred something chapters? So I didn't expect to finish it, especially in one go, but boy did I, and boy was it worth it. Oh my god, the pacing, the pacing is absurd. You can't start Chainsaw Man and then not finish it in one go. It's super weird, but it's really, really good. Did I read the sequel? Did I read the sequel to Gantz? Uh, if that's what you're asking, I didn't know. Um, I read like one or two things by that same author again, and I was like, I'm full now. Thank you. I think I've had enough. I understand. Uh, my... Oh, hold on, wait. Sorry, I need to grab something. 
Okay, we're set. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Let me check the chat. Chainsaw Man hit me like a train. Yeah, it does that. It certainly does that. <laughs> Uh, last two. Uh, my lesbian experience with loneliness is extremely underrated. Uh, it's very, very good. Super introspective. It's autobiographical about a lesbian coming to terms with, like, her attraction to women and just growing up, like, as a whole. It's super interesting, and it's not that long if I remember right. Um, it's worth a read. Uh, the last one's Liar Game. I read- this probably shouldn't be on there. I read Liar Game, like, easily a decade ago and I was like this is pretty good and then I forgot about it but I really liked it so I'll, I, I remember liking it anyway <laughs> so there you go uh, we're done with manga thank you for uh, your patience and sticking with me through all this I've only got one media slide left and that's visual novels we're flying I really like type moon stuff uh, I finished fate stay night I guess over a year ago now and man did I love it? If I seem off at all, it's because I made a terrible mistake. Uh, I was hanging out with some friends yesterday, and we spent all day together, and then they were, Yahado! And then they were like, hey, do you want to watch Heaven's Feel 3? And me, not wanting to be spoiled, was like, oh, absolutely yes, because I didn't know when I'd get a chance to. I bought tickets to see it in theaters, and then the pandemic happened. COVID's taken too much from us. Um, so I was like, yeah, absolutely. And they were like, okay, well, we were gonna rewatch all three of them, so that's fine, right? I was like, yeah, that's fine, of course. I've only seen them once each. And then it was five in the morning, and I had cried countless times. Uh, the third Heaven's Feel movie is extremely good. It's everything I, I could have wanted from an adaptation. If you get the chance to see it, please see it. It's so worth it. It's very, very good. Uh, oh yeah, there's my wife. Oh, which route was best for Fate Stay Night? Uh, let's see. It's a big question. I think my ranking goes Heaven's Feel, Fate, Unlimited, Blade Works. But that's just because I really like Shiro and I don't like the conclusion he came to in Unlimited Blade Works. I want to like protect him or whatever. So I liked it. And Rin's my favorite heroine, so really it shouldn't be like that. But Unlimited Blade Works kind of feels like Shiro's route instead of Rin's anyway, so it's sort of, you know. Uh, let's see. I really like Tsukihime. Uh, everyone, I, I, I was gonna say everyone should read that, should read it. And then I was like, I don't know why I'm saying that. That's not true at all. <laughs> there are plenty of people that wouldn't like Tsukihime <laughs> and they'd be uh, completely fair to dislike it. Uh, it's jank, it's a mess, it's old as hell, but I really like it. I really like how Nasu writes protagonists. Um, Tsukihime is worth reading, if only for the excruciating depictions of, like, just existing as Shiki Tono. The dude is so busted. What? My favorite is that there's a bad end where he looks at the ground too hard and his head blows up. You just can't, can't, can't take anything, and I love that. I love that for him. Uh... Does playing Melty Count as reading Tsukihime? Yes, as long as you don't uh, talk to anyone about it. <laughs> Here's the thing. Uh, so many people have not read Tsukihime that if you just tell people, I've read Tsukihime, they're not, they're not gonna gatekeep. They're just gonna be happy somebody else did. So, although I would never encourage lying, I'm pretty sure if you told someone, I've read Tsukihime, they would just be happy that you said it. So it's fine. Uh, let's see, looking at the chat. Why are you so smart? Good question. Good question. I don't know the answer yet, but I appreciate it. Tsukimi was my very first VN ever. That's so funny. I can't imagine what my thoughts would be about visual novels as a genre if Tsukihime was my first entry. That's actually so funny. I I'm, I'm glad you made it out. Uh, let's see. I really like Two Heart 2. I feel like I'm the only one that actually read this, but the girls are cute. It's easy reading, it's comfy. Tamaki's my arrow wife. Uh, I really like Subarashi Hibi. It feels like bizarro to say that. I don't think anyone truly wholeheartedly likes Subahibi. But whatever the feeling towards it, I guess I, yeah, I, I feel strongly about it one way or the other. <laughs> Subahibi is, is something that I experienced in my mid 20s. So it, it's. I'm f I'm phasing out. I think about the series and my my brain just stops. So we'll move on. Uh, Koi to Senkyo to Chocolate or Love Election and Chocolate. 
is also comfy, easy. I really liked it. The main heroine's super, super cute. Shoutouts to uh, being one of the only series where the childhood friend wins. We love to see it. Uh, I really like Sonohana. Uh, I haven't read all the ones, all the installations, but I liked what I have read. Uh, there's not enough comfy Yuri. That's not true. A lot of the Yuri is comfy, so phrasing it that way is weird. It's just, I want to see more Yuri in general. Mayan Rayo, strong. Mayan Rayo, strong. I really like, um... Oh, what's their name? This is so embarrassing, because I'm telling you the characters that I like, and then I'm like, you know, the one, uh, the main two in Maidens of Michael, the new ones, uh, Risa and Mia, the ones in the picture. They're super, super cute. I like them a lot. Uh, Umineko's on here, even though, you know, I, I talked to you about... This year I'm gonna read Umineko, did you know? This time for sure, Kondokuso. I've been saying that for so long, but this time, actually. Actually. Has anyone here read Shizuku? Uh, no, but I want to. I want to hit up all the Dempa shit. Ideally, I would like to. Uh, Bishoujo Mangekyo's on here, we'll skip over that immediately. I like, uh... I like Hapobi Jin's art, and we can move on. Uh, Kimi Tokanojo Tokanojo no Koi is a lot shorter than I expected, and it's a mess, and it made me feel sick to my stomach, and it was great. I loved it. I would recommend it to anybody. Uh, let's see. And then Nekopara uh, is a given, I guess. I still need to read three, which is funny because Maple's my favorite. But here we are. Local Umi Neko fan excited to play game for the first time. Uh, yeah, you're right. No, please talk about how Kyrie is the best. It feels weird to say she's the best because I haven't read the other ones, so it's like... Out of this pool of one, yeah, she's number one. You're right. <laughs> yeah, hello! Uh, but we'll move on from visual novels for now. Let's see... We're done with- we're done with media discussion for now. So, we're- we're going to more grounded topics. Choo -choo -choo. Stream plans, uh, just so you know what to expect or things that I've been thinking about uh, to do for the stream. I would like to do weekly Grand Blue Fantasy streams. Let me have a sip, hold on. It's been like a really long time since I was actively into Grand Blue, you know? So I, it, I, I probably need to refresh myself on it because there's, there's so many different things that you can do that when you walk away for like a month, your brain just wipes and you're like, oh, I was doing 10 things that I need to do a hundred different things for, but I, I don't remember <laughs> what I was prioritizing. So don't run from Guild War. Don't run away from your responsibilities. Your guild is relying on you. Don't run away from Guild War. Uh, <laughs> God, what was I saying? Uh, but Grand Blue is fun and it's, I think it would be low-key enough where it would be comfortable to like chat with everybody while I was doing it. And it's nice to like, if I do that, then it's like, oh, I can make sure I, I grind in it or whatever. I play it once a week. So that would be good. Um, I mustn't run away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, I have been studying kanji on this site called Wanikani. I'd recommend it for sure. Um, it's mostly just like flashcard stuff almost, but like virtual. Um, but it's fun, and even if they're short, I was like, oh, maybe I could start my streams with those just to get them in, because I have to do them almost daily anyway. What level? Uh, I've been... I put it down for a while. Um, I've been on three for a while, but I'm... the goal is to get to four by the end of April, so we'll see. Uh, pray for me. <sighs> Excuse me. There was a yawn. Uh, let's see... I definitely want to do digital art streams. That's likely what I'm going to do for the next two streams. Uh, I'll post- I'll, I'll share my schedule at the end then, so you have that to, like, reference. Um, but for sure. I, I really like drawing, so I'd like to kind of draw in front of everybody. That- oh, that's a weird way of putting it. My- <sighs> I would like to draw while I talk to everybody. I would like to do game streams. I, I, I have a few games in mind, uh, so we'll we'll see. Uh, but they're, they're a secret for now, because if I don't end up doing one, I don't want to get everybody's hopes up. Draw in front of us, talk it up. Why does it sound so lewd? Stop! <laughs> don't do that! <laughs> Gamer maid. That's me, Zoom. Uh, 
oh, I thought it'd be really fun if, uh, if I have time one season, like, reasonably, uh, to do weekly airing anime reviews. And reviews sounds weird, because that's kind of like, oh, I'm making content, and I'm, I'm putting it out. But I would want it to be, like, more of an interactive thing, where, like, I talk about, you know, how I, I felt about stuff, uh, you know, different episodes or whatever, and then you guys can also talk about it. We can get, like, a community. I thought that'd be so cute. Uh, we can all complain about Redo of Healer weekly. Just kidding. There's there's never gonna be anything quite like Redo of Healer again. But we can do our best. We can chase the high. Uh, I want to do karaoke nights. For sure. I really like singing, so of course I do. I may or may not sometimes have a sippy to go along with it. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> yeah, made drunk made karaoke streams. Uh, anime music quiz games. I love anime music quiz. And... At any given time, I wish I was playing it. So I thought it'd be really fun if, for some streams, um, I played it and I like put the the password out in the chat, so anyone who wanted to could like hop in and play with me. I guess <laughs> I'll work out the logistics of it. But I thought that'd be super super fun. Um, watch alongs. Oh oh, that was gonna be a potential subscriber perk. Um, once it's feasible, I thought like I could host watch alongs on my Discord server for, um, subscribers, like, for, like, anime or movies or something. Um, I was thinking the first one we should all watch together would be Kaiji, because it's a lot, and there's so many people that I know that haven't seen it that should. <laughs> Kaiji is, uh, again, a ride. Uh, so, for sure, if you'd be down for, like, watching Kaiji Weekly, let, let me know. <laughs> we can all scream. <laughs> so, so. So, so. Uh, and lastly... Oh! Oh! Do any of you remember, uh, International Saimoe League? Because it's been going on for years, and I fell out of it for a few years. Basically, it's like this, um, this website, or this, I guess, organization? Like, somebody takes care of it, right? Somebody sets it up. But basically, um, they decide who the most popular anime girl and guy uh, are every year. The like, uh, uh, what's the word? Not not a sign. They'll reward them with like, oh, the heavenly tiara, whatever. Um, such and such character won. But it's it's just like a branching thing where every once in a while they'll host up polls with like twenty sets of two characters, and you just pick which one of the two in each one you like, um, and then you submit it, and it tallies up everybody's votes, and it's like a elimination tournament. So, so, I thought it'd be super fun if- because you can do polls on Twitch, right? Like, I don't have a lot of experience with it, so I'd have to set it up, but you- you can do that, right? I thought it- who won last year? I'll check. I actually don't know, and that's so embarrassing. Um, yeah, I thought it'd be so fun if, like, the whole chat voted, and then every week I could be like, okay, we picked this one, this one, this one, and then I submitted it as our vote. It'd be so fun. Who won International Saimoe League 20... what, 2020? I guess it is? Let's find out. I want to know. Ch -ch 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 -ch. 2020 archive site. Uh... Mm. Hold on. I want to find out with you. Just setting it up. <laughs> uh, nope, not that. Not that. This. We got him, boys. All right. <laughs> Thank you. So let's see. Luffy won. Is that true? Luffy won in both the female and male division? What a talented boy. The Origairu girl. Wait, which one? Oh, I s That shouldn't surprise me. I don't know why I'm surprised. I guess it's because like so much happened last year that I'm shocked Yukino won number one of everybody. Uh, who do we got? Yukino Misaka Mikoto. <laughs> I'm glad Railgun is still bringing home the crown. We got Mai Sakurajima, Kaguya. I'm surprised Kaguya didn't rank higher, actually. Uh, I know people still like Railgun, but I feel like... I, I, I don't know. I was always under the impression that the people who voted in this are, like, current anime... Not purists, but you know what I mean. Like, the people are super excited about it. Uh, so I'm surprised Kaguya didn't 
rank first even? Or I guess, no, I guess Kaguyu came out like a while ago, right? Now, it feels weird to say. I only watched it last year, so it's still fresh in my mind. Uh, let's see. Uh, the pet girl of Sucker So. <laughs> I'm shocked she's so high too. Uh, Chunibyo Rika, uh, Asuna SAO, Ai Hayasaka, Kurum. People, dude, people love Data Alive. I only just watched the first season this year. People love Data Alive. And I'll tell you what, I watched the first half and I was like, man, this is so. I don't have, I don't have time for this. And then Kurumi showed up and I was like, oh. Oh, wait, this is fun actually. Oh, shit. So I'm a, I'm a Data Live liker. I'm shocked. Uh, who's next? Chika Fujiwara. Of course, I'm shocked she's not higher, too. Kuroko Shirai. Misaki Shokuho. My glittery bitch. Ishiki Iroha. Amelia. Amelia should be higher, too. That's so weird. I'm surprised Rem is not here at all, actually. What happened? Oh my god. The scene changes so drastically so fast. It's impossible to keep up with it. Tell me how Rem is not on here, but the pet girl of Sakura so is. This has to be like a nepotism thing, right? This is so weird. Uh, Rin Tosaka, Yui Yui Gahama, Utaha, Kasumi Gaoka, Shiro, Nao Tomori. Did enough people watch Charlotte for Nao Tomori to rank this high? Was it a pool of like three people? Much to think about. Uh, Megumin, I'm also shocked. How is Shiro from No Game No Life ranking higher on a 2020 poll than Megumin? I'm surprised. I'm shocked. Not even because of personal preference, because of, like, what you would think would be most popular, you know what I mean? Uh, as, as he deserves. As he deserves. He's such a good boy. We love to see it. Uh, who else we got? Really? Okay, number two is the, the bunny girl senpai guy. I always forget how, like, popular bunny girl senpai is. I think I don't... I don't know. I don't really see... I guess people talk about it, huh? Yeah, I'm glad Kamijo Otoma is still ranking this high. <laughs> Our guy, uh, Yui Shigami, Chunibyo Boy, the guy from the No Game No Life movie, Levi, uh, Tanjiro, Kiyotaka Ayano Ko... Who? Wait, who is that? Hold on. Hold on. Stand by. But no. I'm not gonna mess with the windows. I don't- I don't trust myself. I'm gonna <laughs> look it up on my phone. Uh, Ayano Koji. Oh, is this the dude from Classroom of the Elite? People really like that, right? That ranks like super high in- in light novel polls over in Japan. But I've never seen it. I like don't know anything about it. I don't know the plot. I just know people like really like it. If they've read it or watched it. I don't know what people think of the anime. Uh, but moving on, because this is like... <laughs> I was just curious, and now we've been here for a bit, but... Uh, Natsuki Subaru, Totsuka Saika... I... I guess, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, guy from Your Name, Saitama, Emiya Shiro, my boy, Okabe Rintaro, Kazuma, I, I figured would be higher, too. Uh, the guy from Torad... <gasps> Ryuji's on here? People, people still remember Toradora. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Uh, Okazaki from Clanad should also, he belongs on here. He deserves it. Kanda Sorota, is that the Sakura So guy? Who out here is repping for Sakura So? What is going on? Are there people who, like... I don't know if I should say this. Are there people out there who say my favorite anime is the pet girl of Sakura So? Or no, people really like Nanami, right? Well then why isn't she in here? I don't get it! <laughs> I don't understand, whatever. And then Angel Beats Protag. Good, solid, safe. We, as, we stand, as the kids say. Alright, enough of that. Enough of that, we're done. We're moving that so I can't go back. Done. All right. <laughs> People love. To Do they really? Huh. Interesting. Mike's hard pass. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And then that 
I'm sorry, uh, tying this up, yeah, just comfy chatting streams would be nice, I think. Always a given. Uh, oh, maybe she wasn't, maybe Rem wasn't on there because she was a past winner. That's true. That's possible. Um, I haven't looked at the overall winners in a while. The ones I always think of are like, you want to hear something really embarrassing? When I was in, I was either finishing middle school or I was going into high school and I was voting in Saimoi all the time and it was the year Kaon aired and I really wanted, I don't even remember who, I really wanted my one girl to win and Mio won and I was like, who is this bitch? Who does she think she is? I watched Kaon, I was like, yeah, she's all right, I guess. And for like a year, I really didn't like Mio because I thought she like stole. <laughs> she stole the win from my girl, whoever it was. Uh, and now I'm an adult and I think, yeah, Mio's, Mio's really cute. So I guess you could say I've like grown up, matured, uh, learned to appreciate all girls. Mio election fraud? <laughs> Akiyama Mio election fraud. Implying Mugi isn't the best K-On. I'm gonna- I'm- mm, mm. Best K-On fights are dangerous, and I'm not gonna do that on my debut stream. That's dangerous. I don't want to open up Pandora's box right now. Uh, moving on. Finished with stream plans. Stream goals. I can't do anything without goals pushing me forward. So, as far as my goals for streaming go, uh, I'd like to create a nice community where we can, like, spend time together and share interests and have fun and all. Um, I'd like to collaborate with my friends if I can. It sounds like a lot of fun. Um, I've been thinking about like different stuff we can do together, but that's also a secret until later. Um, I've been thinking, like some people suggested, I'd actually really like to like read a visual novel with everybody. Maybe once a week, just like reading something. It'd be kind of like a book club, you know, where we check in once a week and we're like, yeah, checking in for Weekly Muff Love or Weekly Umineko. I haven't read Muff Love either. I'm fake. Uh, but yeah, I thought it'd be really fun. Uh, so we'll see what we what we end up doing. I am looking. <laughs> uh, I have 428. I haven't played it yet. Don't do this. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, for a more grounded goal, I think I'd like to try to reach a thousand followers in a year. But that's very... Um, Transient isn't the word I'm going for, but it's the one that's coming out. I've never streamed before, so I'm not like familiar with what the numbers are like or the metrics on this platform. So I'm like reserving my right to edit this goal. <laughs> I just like having something that I can I can work towards. Um, becoming a, a Twitch affiliate would also fit in here. Uh, but numbers numbers feel like kind of more concrete, you know what I mean? When we're talking about goals. So setting one like that, I'm like, okay, well that's, yeah, I can do that, that's fine. Play 428 Shibuya Scramble on Steam or Sony PlayStation 4 today. Idoru Hakase, uh, wasn't 428 Shibuya Scramble, like, one of the only games to receive a perfect score in that one magazine? Isn't that a thing that happened? Uh, <laughs> moving on. Uh, I'd like to make merchandise. Uh, I collect a lot of anime merchandise or whatever, so I thought it'd be, like, so cool to have merch made of me. Um, acrylic charms or stickers or something. Um, someday, far in the future, uh, a figure or, like, a Dakimaku even would be so, so, so cool, but that's way, <laughs> way out. <laughs> that's way in the future. Um, I would like to release an original song if I can. That's also, like, not something I'm putting on my plate right now, uh, but... It's a nice goal, I think, and it's an idea. I sing a lot of covers, but I've never, like, um, sung anything original or just for me. So maybe I can, like, put something together in the future. Uh, let's see. Let me mix you something. <laughs> Thank you, queen. Uh, I'd like to have a 3D model, maybe for, like, VR chat or something. I've never tried baking one, um, but it sounds really fun to, to learn how, even if the process is a pain. Uh, I, I like, I don't know, I see something cool and I'm like, not just, oh, I want that, but also I want to know how that works and I want to know how to do it. So maybe uh, if I, Yahara! <laughs> thank you for following. Uh, maybe if I get the time and it feels right, I can like stream myself working on a 3D model. We'll see. Yahara! We'll see. Uh, but it sounds like fun. So it's, it's on the list. 
Next is fan stuff, because at the end of the day, I am not just a girl talking about anime on the internet, I'm also a VTuber. So, uh, my fan name for my audience, I was gonna do Goshujin-sama, uh, because I'm a maid. <laughs> I know it's not plural, but making it plural feels kind of clunky, so you'll just have to deal with it. I'm sorry about this. Jonas- Jonas's Bizarre Camp Adventure. Joe Jo- Why are we talking about the Jonas Brothers? I'm busy shilling! What is going on? Joe- Joe Jonas is a Jojo? How do you- Fuck, how do you ban someone on Twitter? Oh well, anyway. Um, my Oshi mark is a ring, uh, which I've very obviously made pink up in my logo because it's cuter. Um, on my Discord server, I have different roles. Tier 1 subscribers would be regulars, tier 2 would be loyal customers, and tier 3 would be VIP patrons, and my mods are labeled as managers. My Discord server is called Takako's Maid Cafe, uh, so if you'd like to, feel free to hop in. Um, as far as what benefits subscribers get, I'll definitely go over that once it's a little more relevant or we're further along, and I'm uh, not just starting out. Uh, I don't really want to get ahead of myself, so we'll see. Joe Jojo. This needs to stop. How do you ban words? You can do that, right? You can blacklist words in a Twitch chat. Can I blacklist Joe Jonas? Probably. I'll figure it out afterwards. Uh, hashtags going in with the fan stuff. Uh, on Twitter, ban me queen. <laughs> yeah, ban me daddy. Uh, for my- <laughs> This is awful. Uh, for my stream alerts, I'm gonna do TKMR Takamura live, uh, so I'll, I'll tweet that whenever I go live. Oh my god, wait, I didn't! I, d I didn't- I didn't tweet it! From now on, that's what I'll be doing uh, to post my stream schedule. I'll do Takamura schedule. Uh, I'll post that right after I finish streaming. Ban me one sama uh, new videos, uh, I'll post, like, VODs and, and edited clips of streams and stuff on my YouTube, um, everything is linked in the panels below, uh, but when I do upload one, I'll, I'll tweet it and I'll tag it Madeovid, uh, for fan art or whatever, if you could use Takamore art, I would really appreciate it, um, it sounds, like, weird to talk about fa fan art of not a character, but me, I guess I'm a character, right? Uh, but I, if you feel like it and you do do it, obviously I'd want to see it. So um, be sure to be sure to tag it so I can. Um, and the same goes for any like fan memes or shit posts or whatever. Just Mado meme, Mado meme. I would appreciate it. I have to delete my fan. Wait, did you do fan art? No. What? I'm still- I'm still vulnerable, don't do this. <laughs> Taka Mart. Femi Mart. We have to draw me banning Joe Jonas. Yeah, please. Joe Jonas is not welcome in my chat. Uh, we're almost getting to the end now. Almost. Thank you for being patient. Uh, social media, like I said, it's all linked below, but I actively use Twitter, YouTube, and Discord. Um, I really like the, the avatar, so I'm leaving this up for just a moment because I'm very proud. I worked very hard setting everything up. So, uh, all right, that, that's enough, thank you. <laughs> this is oppressive. Uh, how long until people start drawing lewd fan art? I've like, how do I put my thoughts? I guess I've been on the internet so long that- Cause like, I thought about this and I was like, if this happened, like, how would I handle it? It is anime. I might discuss, like, doujinshi or whatever, uh, you know, lewd shit, I don't know. Um, and I was like, if somebody did, would I be okay with that? And I was like, well, yeah, because I'm a 2D maid, you know, it's fine. Uh, as long as they're, like, nice and not weird about it. Uh, if that happened, I would probably make a not safe for work tag just to keep it separate, um, but as it hasn't, I will, uh, I will set that aside. I will take it and I will set it aside for later. We're not dealing with it right now. We only, we only look forward. We don't look to the side. We don't glance at everything that passes by. If something gets in the way, we'll deal with it. 
is Takamura a dom or a sub? Wait, don't answer that. You'll just have to tune in to find out. Soon you'll you'll know. You'll be able to tell. We'll see. Uh, oh, and then, then for my debut, I thought it would be fun if I did a Q&A. Uh, so I posted a link to my curious cat and I let people submit questions or whatever. Oh, let's see. So we're gonna answer those now. Uh, what motivated you to get into being a VTuber? Um, I really liked VTubers like Pekora and Marine. Um, they're, I think they're my two favorite, although I really like um, Lulu too. Uh, so when I started getting into more like English VTubers like Nianers and uh, I sometimes watch Mori, I think she's really cool. Um, I really liked how they would like interact with their audience uh, and I enjoyed their stuff. Um, so I thought like, oh, it'd be fun if I, I started this and did it on my own. A lot of my friends started doing it too and I liked being active in their community or whatever. So I was like, oh yeah, that would be fun. Uh, next. How did you become so cute? That's a really good question, and I really appreciate it. Um, I stayed very hydrated. I stayed very hydrated, and I have a regular skincare routine. You too can be cute if you just treat yourself with love and respect. It's easy, even. Moving on. Do you like things to be carefully planned, or do you prefer to just go with the flow? Um, I prefer things to be planned out. <laughs> And sometimes I like I can get kind of nervous if it's a big endeavor and details aren't ironed out But uh, more often than not I sort of end up being sporadic anyway and going with the flow uh, I actually just finished this presentation like an hour before my stream started so I was freaking out um, But everything everything worked out. Okay so far everything is going fine, right? Yeah uh, Let's see do you prefer coffee, tea, or hot chocolate? So like I said, I can't really drink coffee or I also freak out. The caffeine is really bad <laughs> for me. Um, so I guess it's between tea and hot chocolate. I think I have to say tea because there's so many different kinds that I like and like it's not, it's not limited to a season. You know what I mean? Um, and I just drink it more often. The hot cocoa that I make is pretty much the same flavor every time with more or less cinnamon. Uh, but with tea, I can have, like, whatever I'm in the mood for, so that's nice. I'm checking the chat now. Takamura will keep moving forward. That's true. That's what I do. Steamroll baby. Decaf boys rise up. Yeah, okay, but, like, at that point... How do I put it? If you're already drinking decaf coffee, then all that's left is, like, the taste, and surely you don't actually enjoy it, right? Hmm. Hmm, just things to think about. <laughs> I'm cutting deep tonight. I'm, I'm wounding you all. Let's see. Next, uh, what are some of your hobbies or interests? Um, I sort of went over this earlier and I can't really think of anything else, but I wanted to feature this anyway just to thank you for submitting a question in. <laughs> I really appreciated it. Uh, let's see. If you can enjoy coffee, I think that's great because sometimes I wish I was able to. So all joking aside, like, if you can, then you should, right? Like, that's how it is. Uh, do I... I jumped forward, sorry. Do you have any pets? Um, I don't right now. I might be getting a cat soon. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Perhaps. What's my most niche interest that I'm comfortable sharing? Um... I guess flower arrangement? Like, no one talks about flower arrangement, right? Um, but I've tried it, and I think it's super challenging, actually. Um, so I have a lot of respect for people that do that sort of thing for a living, um, or who've mastered it, because every time I try, I like, have no idea where to start. <laughs> so I think that's really cool. Uh, next. Next. Am I planning on doing collabs? Yes, I would love to. I think that sounds really, really fun. If possible, I would very much like to, yes. Uh, you go to a fancy restaurant with an unlimited budget. Where do you go and what do you order? So because this answer was more in depth, I wrote it down. But now that I've read this and I'm looking at it, I don't think I answered your question because you, you said a fancy restaurant with an unlimited budget. And I said, all you can eat Korean barbecue, which is neither fancy, uh, 
nor requires an unlimited budget because it's all you can eat. I don't know what is going on. I'm so mad. You I had one job. Um, no, I want I want all you can eat Korean barbecue and I want sake and sides of rice and veggies and the steamed egg and kimchi and pickled radish. Uh, I there's a and all you can eat Korean barbecue place that I really like and I obviously haven't gone since the pandemic started. Uh, so I die a little more every time I think about it. I don't want to think about it. That's why we're moving on. Korean barbecue who? I don't know her. How did I get my maid job? Well, I showed up to my interview uh, with this cosplay on and they told me that I was hired on the spot. I didn't say anything and I didn't do anything. They said, looks good. All right, you start Monday. That's a true story. That's not a lie at all. What's my favorite thing about being a maid? Um, the clothes are hella cute. <laughs> They're so cute. Um, I really do actually kind of like making people happy when I can, so it's kind of nice to be able to brighten up someone's day. Or uh, I don't know. I, I I just think it's a very sweet concept, so long as it's like wholesome, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know what to say, but cute. Uh, would I draw something nice and cute on the omelette rice, or would I go the brutal route and draw something mean? <laughs> um, it depends. I, I actually have a hard time drawing anything in ketchup, so I'm guessing I would just do a heart or something. Maybe... Maybe if someone asked for like a sundre thing, I would... I, I would write die on it. I don't know. <laughs> die in Minecraft. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll try doing some omelette drawings sometime. I always brighten up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Emmy. I appreciate it. Uh, next, best pre kone girl. Oh, okay. So I put them here. Um, my favorite is Nozomi, who's in the center. Uh, she's an idol. But then I also really like uh, Suzuna on the left. She's like a gyaru model archer and then on the right is Saren uh, who's a super cheapskate elf that runs an orphanage. <laughs> She's voiced by Yui Horie. Very good choices. I am uh, I really like Pekarin, Kyaru, and Hatsune too. Carl. So I, I don't know. I, I like all the pre girls so it's like really really hard to just pick one. Uh, but we're moving on. Choo -choo -choo -choo. Will you play <laughs> Will you play Tsukihime and or New Melty remake on stream? And what system I can't talk, I'm so sorry. What system are you gonna play Melty Blood type Lumina on? Um I would really, really like to. I haven't I'm showing my power level, this is so embarrassing. I haven't played a console game on my PC before, like not on Steam. So I would have to like look into setting things up, but obviously that's something that I plan on doing, so I I want to say yes. Um I can't for certain say yes because I don't have the means to right now. But yes, it's it's on the table. When's Melty? Let's see. Oh, I liked this one. Is Shiro more of a himbo or a chungus? Uh, a himbo. Absolutely, this isn't a question. He's also very chungus, uh, but at his core, he is himbo incarnate. Whoever sent this, you're blessed. I love you. Please come back. Thank you for everything. Archer is chung- No, he's not! What are you talking about? Archer isn't chungus! Like, Sakura's chungus. Sakura's chungus. Ilya's chungus. Archer's chungus. Google's himbo. It's just a, a male bimbo. Can you say that? Is that like- Wait, is that blacklisted on Twitch? Can you not say that? I forget. Oh, okay. Well, we're moving on. Uh, who's the number one maid? It's funny you ask because I prepared a presentation for this very good question, um, but it, I didn't finish it in time, so that's a stream for a later date. Uh, so you'll have to come back. <laughs> You'll have to come back and see. Uh, but that was the last of the Q&A questions. 
Um, I wanted to sincerely thank everybody who sent one in. It was a lot of fun. Kohaku Tsukihime. I already forget what I was talking about, and I don't know why you said Kohaku Tsukihime, but I wanted to say it anyway because she's a good girl. Oh, the number one mate. God. <laughs> I'm a mess. Uh, there is a type moon on there as a little teaser. Let's see. What do we have left? Oh, fun part. Shoutouts. So, uh, I mentioned before that a lot of my friends ended up doing VTubing. Uh, all of my friends are on Twitch, um, so I wanted to give them little shoutouts because they inspired me to do this, but they also, like, encouraged me uh, to, to do it. It was really nerve-wracking, um, but... I don't know. If I if I didn't have them around, I definitely wouldn't have been able to do this. So, uh, we've got Bakun, who is my really good friend. She's a gamer gremlin and like a little sister to me. Um, she streams mostly video games, so if you're into gamer gorals, you should check out her Twitch. Uh, I love her very much. We have KK Cyber. Uh, who's another close friend I've had for a long time. She is a Denpa A Angel. <laughs> uh, and she's very, very cute. She actually just debuted the other week. Um, and I'm very proud of her. She did an amazing job. Uh, I, I hope I can measure up. <laughs> you know? Uh, she streams video games too. She manages to find a lot of cool games I've like never heard of. So I like tuning into her streams because I never know what she's going to be playing. Uh, we have Yahoo! We've got Picky. Um, I only just met Picky recently, but she is adorable. Her streams are super cool, and she makes all of her assets herself, which is so sick. Um, so sometimes she'll do them like on stream, and it's really cool to see her like put them together and everything. Uh, her aesthetic's really like unique. I've never seen anything like it, so you should definitely check her stuff out and give it a look. And Henna Mimi, uh, an active girl in the chat. Uh, we've also been friends for years. She's a very cute chicken girl. She plays games sometimes, but she mostly streams her art, and I really like her art. It's very soft and cute. Uh, so if you're into that kind of thing, I would I would definitely recommend following her too. Uh, I think... Oh, actually, we're out. That's all. So that's actually it for the, the presentation today. Uh, we are almost done. Thank you for sticking around. But! But! However, comma, uh, I did have one more thing prepped for today, so we'll see. Give me a moment. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I, 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 yeah, I really appreciate it. Oh, it was so... I was, this is so embarrassing. I was, like, putting the slides together and I was, like, shaking, knowing that I have to read it out loud in a bit. When do I usually stream? Um, I was... If you have time, I was going to show the schedule at the end, um, but right now I was planning on, in, in, in just this immediate week, today's Sunday, I was going to do Monday and Tuesday too. Um, I won't be around this weekend, um, so we'll see. I'll, 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 I'll let you know. I'll for sure put it on my, my Twitter, my Discord, whatever. Um, thank you for asking. But we had one more thing. Let's see. Give me just a moment. All right, sick. Okay, hold on. Watch this. Ho ho. Ho ho ho. Where are you now? Look down, look back up. Where are you? You're in the karaoke zone. The karaoke zone. <laughs> I am so... Man, this is so nerve-wracking, please. That's all right. Everyone does it, right? It's customary. Uh, where are my glow sticks? I want to make a glow stick emoji. So bad. I already have a, a singing one, so maybe that one will suffice? We'll see. Um, I'm very excited to get to the point where I can put emojis in my, uh, my, my emotes. Why am I calling them emojis? What is going on? I'm half asleep. Emotes. I'm excited to have uh, Twitch emotes. That's all. Thank you. Okay, we'll, we'll move on. So, uh, let's see. 
give me, give me a second to do a water. I'm not as nervous now, but uh, I, I talked a lot. So Twitch emojis, oh, drop dead, God, shut the fuck. <laughs> Don't do this. <laughs> My model looks so funny when I'm drinking. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. All right, let's see. Um, if the audio is weird at all, let me know and I'll try to mess with it. But I'll do, I think, three songs. Yeah? Sound good? Does everyone have time for that? <laughs> Does everyone want that? Ah, uh, let's see. Okay. Ready? Oh, wait. No, 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 no. No, yep, it's not playing. See? Okay, we're good. Hold on. Wait. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> At least I didn't start singing. I was only jamming. I'm going to start playing it because there's a bit of an intro anyway. So if you could just let me know if you can hear it and the audio is fine and everything's all good, I would appreciate it very much. Thank you. Scuff time. True. You'll have to pry acapella from my cold, dead, made body. is shaking you can't it, be, mm, okay Scoop, Jesus Christ. How many years has it been since Gurren Lagan aired? Don't tell me, that's really scary. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. It, it. it means a lot, unironically. I'm very nervous, my voice is shaking. Shiny 
たたいてるから今日の僕がその先に続く僕らなりの明日を気づいてゆく答えはそういつもここにある<笑>14 years ago, you're making that up. The show absolutely did not. Are you kidding me? That's horrible. Oh. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Dol. How was that? <laughs> I'm very nervous. I'm not as nervous as I thought I would be, though, to be honest. I,、uh, I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Do I have pro vocal training? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> no way.、Uh, I wish I did. I think about it a lot, actually.、Um, I, I, like I said, I don't generally have a lot of regrets, but sometimes you, you think back and you're like, oh, I wish I had like, taken the time or money、uh, or effort and like, invested into this or that, right? And,、um, Voice lessons is, is one of those things, actually. I think about that sometimes, where it's like,、uh, you know, it's something that I'm like actively trying at. So I'm like, oh, if I had done this back then, like, I wonder how far it would be now. But you can only, you can only go forward. So we're going to keep going forward. This one is hard. I don't know why I picked this. <laughs> Have you ever watched someone shoot themselves in the foot? How many of you are watching ReZero right now? Just wondering. It's totally not relevant. How many of you are watching season two? Don't spoil. I, I'm not caught up on season two, part two. I, I like Echidna very much, though. ReZero only gets better. I don't care what people say. ReZero is my,、uh, I guess, problematic fave isn't the right term because it's not really problematic, but <laughs> my,、uh, I shouldn't like this probably, but I very sincerely do like it series. Everyone, every, yeah, everybody saw it. You're right. I don't know why I asked. All right. Well, wait, I need a sip. Is everyone staying hydrated? Do you all have water? Guilty pleasure? Yeah, I guess.、Uh, if you sat me down with like a wine and asked me, I would say, There's no reason to consider V0 a guilty pleasure because it's like good and fun. Oh, I'm all over the place. So, let's see. On this right, I was going to、uh, put my karaoke list. See? I don't know why it's so small because I'm only doing three tonight, but it's nice to have. I don't know. I never decided when I was going to update this, like before or after songs. Guilty Crown. Yeah, my Guilty Crown. ReZero is my Guilty Crown. All right. During? I. You're asking a lot of me. <laughs> my, my brain function is already.、Uh, oh, did music volume sound a bit low? I can turn it up. Does everybody else think so? I can only hear it on my end, obviously, so、uh, it helps a lot. Is the timing okay, too? You will guilty drown. I wish I could guilty drown. Holy shit. Is my, is my、uh, audio too loud or anything? I've turned the, the music up then, but timing is good. Okay. Nice. Nice. We love to see it. We love to hear it. Okay. All right, then we'll do the next one. No, it's perfect. You're perfect. <laughs> All right, let's see. ルキつづけた今を決しては今に世に塞いだ過去切り捨てられてしまった可能性不可逆で再生は水と叶わない何度も深く傷ついて悲
Thanks for putting up with it. Yes, please water your mates every half hour. It's so important. They could they could wither away and die if you don't. It's true. The PP me cheer emote. What PP me cheer emote? I don't know why I picked such a difficult song. I thought, this will be fun. I sang it in the shower. I was like, yeah, it sounds great. Then this is a no-brainer. This is so easy. And then as soon as the instrumental turned on, I realized not a, not a single cell in my throat is hydrated. This is a disaster. This is a horrible disaster. But the good news is the next song is uh, much easier. I don't know why I have this karaoke list. I'm not even using it. There, we've used it now. Easy, easy. Kantan desu yo. Next song is the last one, unless like, yeah, no, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. I was planning on it being the last one. Yeah, you know what? We'll do it before. That makes the most sense. Easy. Fun. All right. <clears throat> Are we ready? Probably, right? <laughs> I've been buying enough time. <laughs> oh, okay.
hell was that? <laughs> oh, Christ. Pachi, 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 pachi. Thank you. Big poggers. Big poggers. I'm an emotional. It sure was. If you think it was an emotional roller coaster listening to it, imagine how it felt to do it. It wasn't good. It didn't feel good. Actually, that's a lie. It, uh, it was really fun. Um, I'm really happy I, I did, actually. <laughs> Thank you so much for, for coming to this and like listening to me and everything. It, uh, it feels really weird to like have, I don't know how to put it. Like, this is all stuff that I, I do by myself, you know? So like having other people or like so many people even, I don't know how this happened, uh, come to like hang out with me and see all this stuff. It, like, it means a lot. Yeah, like an audience. It feels really like nice. I'm really glad. So thank you. Yeah, <laughs> don't say it at all. I will cry. I will cry. It's, a, it's not a threat. It's a promise. Um, thank, really, thank you for making the time to like stop by and hang out with me and everything and chat. I really appreciate it. Um, let me see if I had anything else. I guess not. All I was going to do then is discuss the schedule and discuss is like a generous word because I was just going to say like, oh, I'm streaming Monday and Tuesday. I'll probably be drawing. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, would you like me to keep going through karaoke? But I think, I think I'll, I'll tease you and say, nope, you have to come to the next one. How's that? Too bad. Uh, oh, let me, here, let me go back, okay? All right, the, the echo's off, right? <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, okay, Luvia, yeah. <laughs> Shero, my, my boyfriend, Emia Shero. <laughs> Thank you for following. Um, really, honestly, like, to, to everybody for like, follow, not just coming, but like following and everything, it, it means a lot. I appreciate it, so hopefully we can spend time together and have fun together and I can make it worth your with, worth your while to stick around. Uh, for the schedule, let's see. Yeah, easy. Oh, I was supposed to edit this. I wasn't going to do anime music quiz. Well, mm, hmm. I'll tell you what, I wasn't going to, but how about we play it by ear, yeah? Does that sound good? You can try it out. We'll see. Quick edit? No, I've I've already committed to the bit. There's there's no going back now. I'm not editing it. And instead, I will incorporate it, and I will say, yeah, I plan to do that from the beginning. That's why it's there. So that's what we're gonna do. Enjoy. Uh, anything else? I guess not. Uh, it's just gonna thank everyone for coming. I was going to thank subscribers individually, but. Oh, it does show up! Okay, sorry, I full-screened it. I'm a baby back bitch, and I only have one monitor right now. Um, I need to get a second one, so... Thank you, Corbin J, for... Uh, uh, don't- I'm sorry, my brain blanked out. Can you... Okay, yeah. Uh, thank you, Corbin J, for donating $10. I appreciate it. Um, thank you, Midlist author for ten dollars. Oh, Corbin said, is this where I simp? Uh, yes. It is. Uh, Midlist author donated ten dollars. Thank you very much. And he said, ah, congratulations on your debut. <laughs> uh, thank you. I, I'm late to read this, but hopefully I, I ganbated. And then I have a ten dollar donation from XX Ramune Fennet XX saying, sipping monsters out of a teacup for you. Monster energy drink? I 
I want you to know that if I had monster energy before this, I might have passed out. I, it's entirely possible I could have been the first- Has anyone else done that? I could be the first VTuber to die on stream. That'd be so sick, actually. Maybe I'll get monster next time, we'll see. Who can say? Uh, I wanted to thank everyone for following, but there, I, it sounds really weird to say, but there's a lot, so we'd be here forever. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Bakun, for donating six ninety six dollars and ninety cents and saying simp time. It is indeed simp time. Uh, let's see. I could. Would you like me to rapid fire? Thank all the followers. That sounds kind of weird, but actually, I think it'd be pretty funny. Okay, we're gonna do it. There's no. It doesn't matter if I trip up. Nice. Uh, thank you for following. <clears throat> Mega Fire Eight Hundred Shady Desu. Ch I assume that's channel. Red Blue Fire Ernie Four Eight Two Queef Mother Antonio Me Nine Akai Mage Jelly Valley Sixty Nine. Nice. Uh, th <clears throat> this is. A test for you. Okay. Great job, Blue. Thunder Punch Prime Channel. Uh, Katen 7000, Sifty, Lauren Tan, Luke Pixels, Auto Prime, uh, Joseph L. Demon, Mill K, I Dempotent, um, Uggersly, Wild Geese underscore. Five jobs. Your name is amazing. Very big fan. Egg Channel. Uh, JJ Samachan, Croker XLII, Mudkip Slaps, Waramont, Noriko Gori Bit. No, Noriko go ribbit. I'm sorry, I'm zooming. Jet Remy, <laughs> uh, Vitella Bonina, um, Jaspags98, Bone Miser, uh, Akuma Hokoru, Fentral Nan, Fentral Nan, uh, KFP Senpia, not Senpai. Who the hell is Jordan? Uh, yeah, Jelly Belly Pet Rat, Peach Rat, Gumai Kandai, uh, Mern Kern, no, Mer Kern, Bunny Lover, VT Frisk, uh, Zavazai, Harlala, Kuro Gungnir, uh, so Kaiji, Fusion Tech 45999 San, Parnerd, uh, Chunimaru, Kyuju Yonkun, uh, 69X underscore M, either L or capital I, G, ha oh, MLG Hachama 420 Peko underscore X69. <laughs> uh, Truth Money, Mr. Goemon, uh, Utah One, Solai TV, Anya Knees, Captain Marasa, NXRVB, Muscle Mommies, uh, <laughs> Muscle Mommies, Torty with three E's, Era Channel, uh, X Unit, X underscore Ender, Picky Channel, uh, Filthy Nanban, Suke Togu, uh, Dingle Toast, Musing Mojack, XX Ramune Fennet, XX, uh, Te underscore Un, Midlist Author, Trippy Jing, um, uh, uh Pan Pansus Kyle, Zippy Dunt, uh, Rose Witch, that's a sick ass name, I wish it was mine. Uh, KK Cyber, Bet Bup, uh, Hellbeat, Get Smushed, Xnoth. Oh, wait, those are two days ago. Those are two days ago. Well, uh, thank you anyway. I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> I, I, Sin, I, I, Zuka, uh, any Mayas, Meller, Meller, whoever else is here. I appreciate it. Um, and thank you again for everyone who rated. It means a lot. So that's Jeremy. Uh, 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 that's almost showing up, but I know more did, so my general thanks to everybody. Um, okay, this was totally unnecessary. I don't know why I did this, but it was a lot of fun, so uh, thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. Um, is anybody else streaming? Could I raid someone? Probably not. I'm probably just gonna take a seat, pop a squat, and relax for the rest of the night. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. I hope everyone had a good time and I will see you next time. <laughs> All right, have a good night. Mm.